Welcome to the channel guys. Today I'm gonna to go in great detail and talk about the different shipping profiles that are available on Shopify. Now, one of the major things that a lot of people find difficult is the fact that they don't understand that every single product that they have on their Shopify account needs to have a different shipping details. And they don't actually create a shipping detail and they rely on the one that is generally made by Shopify. But you gotta keep in mind guys, when you are selling products online and using Shopify, they give you the full ability to actually get access to and create customized shipping profiles and the first thing guys if you have not clicked in the description and check the link over here go ahead and click on the description and click on the link and get shopify for 90 days completely free now guys coming back to our video over here the first thing that you need to do is head over to settings once you click on settings you'll be taken to the next page now on the settings page there's a lot of information for example the store details the plan the buildings user permissions payments checkouts and then you have the shipping and delivery in today's video i'm going to go in great detail and talk about the shipping and delivery once we click on it the complete breakdown for the shipping and delivery is going to be given now the beauty of shopify is the fact that you can customize every single element the amount of customization and control that shopify gives is unprecedented and we have never come across any sort of e-commerce website that is giving this level of customization now when you look at shipping you can choose where you ship and how much you charge for the shipping at checkout now there's a general shipping rate for all the general products from the rates for two location to two zones and no rate for one location once i click on manage i will be able to check the different products that have available and then see where are they shipping from and where are they will be shipped to and what the standard shipping is going to be now this is very interesting because shipping options will not appear at checkout on orders fulfilled from these location and you can add the rates to activate these for these locations you can add the different rates that are available now you can also add conditions if you want by going to create a shipping zone and once you create a shipping zone you can add different elements over here like i will show you in a second so you put the zone name you'll search for the countries and region and obviously once you select the region it'll be done for example if you put bahrain or we put afghanistan we're gonna hit done and then this is gonna be the zone name that we have to put we're gonna put zone number one and then we will click on done and this will add the zone that's going to be available if you want to add a rate we'll click on rate and you can set up your own rates or use the carriers or app to calculate the rates that are going to be available over here since we have not added any couriers or apps over here this is not available but you can look and add the different rates that you want for example if you put a rate for the us flat rate and we'll put a price for this which is going to be 100 we can also add conditions now you can see the level of customization that's available here guys because the control that shopify tends to give is absolutely brilliant and this is what makes it so unique so let's head back to shipping and delivery and we will leave this page over here and once we get over here you'll be able to see that you can also have the app shipping profiles i'm going to look at the custom shipping rates in a second but i want to finish this first to show you exactly the amount of things that are available on shopify now you have your print full print on demand you can show more you have your processing time this shows the delivery dates to your customer by sending a processing time you can process orders in two business days or less and this will be added to the transit time for your shipping rate so you can manage and change the processing time if you want and this is the level of customization that is available now let's head back over here and once i scroll down this is the most important thing which is the local delivery now delivery orders directly to local customers and you can check the local deliveries and select it from here you also have a local pickup and obviously if you have an actual location where your shop is based you can actually use this element and have a local pickup so people can buy the actual product from your shopify account and they can come to your shop and actually pick it up from there directly and you can allow the local customers to pick up their orders by managing a pickup location now this could be from your house this could be from your store this could be from from a location that you have selected where people can easily find you then you have your packages now the packages size is very important because every single product that you're selling will have a different package size some might be small some might be big some might be different some might be a different size so you can actually quickly edit and add different packages once we click on add a package you'll have a pop-up that's going to come we will put a package name let's say box number two now this is going to be a box now we will select the width that it's going to be in and we can select the length and then we will select the width Width, and obviously then we'll select the height and we'll see is it going to be in centimeters or inches let's put, let's put in centimeters and then we're going to put a weight for this particular product that's going to be over here and then we're going to add this package now this is very interesting because now this package is being added so looking at the boxes that are saved over here you have the dimensions that are available over here that shows the customer exactly what the weight is going to be what the dimension is going to be and how the packaging is going to be done for their product that's being sold then you have your packaging slip template now 
Now, this is a printed list of items in a shipment that obviously often goes into a package and you can customize the packaging slip so you can print them out when you're fulfilling an order. You can click on edit and also edit your packing slip. And obviously you can have a preview of the template. When we click on the preview template, this is the template that's going to be visible for you to print out and use. Now, this information is going to be made available and you can easily print this out and put it into your shipment. So this is the amount of customization and support that is given by Shopify.com. Now you have your carrier accounts. Now, if you want to enable your third party calculated rates at checkout, you can because your current apply does not offer this feature. We have to upgrade the plan to enable the calculated shipping using the accounts from FedEx, UPS and other apps as well. Then you have your custom order fulfillment. You can add an email for custom fulfillment service and the fulfillment order for you. Now, this is the level of shipping customization that's been providing by Shopify.com. Now, if you want to create a new profile, all you need to do is create a new profile. And then for every single product, you can create a singular profile. Now, for example, if you're selling a phone rings, phone cases, chargers, mouse, laptop pads, chairs, tissue boxes, staplers, anything and everything, you can easily create a product for it. You put the name over here, you can add the product, you can give the information where it's going to be shipped from, where it's going to be shipped to. And obviously by adding all this information, you can easily develop these things. For example, if I'm going to put a phone case over here, that is going to be the name of the product. Then it will add a product. Let's add a product. When we click on add a product, we'll be able to select a product that we have. Let's select this product and then we're going to hit done. So this is going to be added. Now we will say, see the show the details. So it's going to be from a shop or it's going to be from Printful. So let's say it's going to be from a shop over here. So these are the three methods that are available for the individual to select from. Then we can create a shipping zone over here. We're going to put zone number two and we'll select rest of the world and we're going to hit done. And obviously there's no rate for customer in the zone. So won't be able to be completed at checkout. So we have to put the rate for it. So let's put a rate. So we're going to put a rate over here. The rate is going to be worldwide flat rate. And obviously the world flat rate is going to be, for example, 500 and we're going to hit done. Now, once we hit done, this is the rate that's going to be over here that needs to be done. If you want to change it, you can easily change it as well by clicking on over here and editing the rate or deleting it. And once that is done, all we need to do is hit save. Once we save it, this is going to be now made available over here. As you can clearly see, you have the general shipping rates for the general products. Then you have a custom shipping rates for the phone case, which is one product and the rates for three locations and one zone. So you can easily manage it from here as well. And you can create more profiles as you want. Guys, it is as simple as that. If you have any questions whatsoever, do let me know in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And you can click in the link below in the description and get Shopify for 90 days and check it out yourself. If you have not subscribed to the channel, guys, do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Share this video with your friends and with your family on your social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, on WhatsApp, so more people can find out the different ways for they can create shipping profiles for their products on Shopify.com. Stay tuned for my next video. Until then, take care.